Hey everybody, it's Lee from Lazarus Homestead, and it is going to be a busy day. It has been cold, um, and yesterday was just cold. It was such a nice change from the hot, hot weather we've been having. Um, it is now almost 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm just getting over a head cold. Um, my grandson came over last week so I could babysit and um, he thought, we thought he had allergies because I took him to the grocery store and he was sneezing and sneezing throughout the whole store. <laughs> well, two days later, I had a stuffy head. It's going away now. Um, it's only been like three days. Um, but I, I have so much going on. I got to bring Sierra to her last um, observing driving portion of her driver's ed. I got to bring Todd to his the weeding. She was supposed to go, but she has to go for this driving thing when they have spots open because there's a time limit. Um, she's got to get her license and have they have to have 20 kids in a group so that the registry will come to the school and do the driving exam there. So it's getting crunch time because we're in August now and she's still got three lessons of driving to do in this last observing lesson. So she's not going weeding today, just Todd's gonna go. But I have to go outside, I have to get dinner. So follow me along because this is going to be a pull it from the freezer and make day. I have two of these deep dish pipe things that I've had in the freezer forever and I'm trying to clean out the freezer and get things going and used up. And I have four and a half cans of this apple pie filling. This expired in March of 23. I opened a can yesterday and made um, those little mini um, in those little mini dash pies, I did those with cinnamon rolls and those got eaten right up. So I'm going to do two apple pies and use that up. And then over here, I have meatball, meatloaf, and burger blend. I'm going to make some meatloaf tonight. And I'm going to use some of my homegrown potatoes. So let's get to this because... I'm getting it all done. I'm going to go drop them off everywhere, and I just want to get my day started. Lazaric Homestead. Real people. Real living. So, there was two pie crusts in here. Now, it says for a two crust pie, while second crust is still in pan and frozen, remove crimp with sharp knife, remove crust from pan and center frozen crust upside down on top of filled pie. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to pour... Because I wanted to use up these cans. I hope I have an, I, I think I'll have enough. So we're going to just pour this in there. This is one of those deep dish. I have fresh apples downstairs in the freezer that I froze when we picked them. But I wanted to use up these cans. Because they are from 2023. So we're just going to use these. Get them out of here. It's been really hot down in my basement, and um, so I'm trying to use up stuff that's been sitting. So I probably didn't need all four cans, but huh, we're just gonna. Once they cook, they uh, they 
So we're just going to really lay it on there. And here comes Jack. It's going to, the, the filling's going to drop down. It's usually what happens. I've never done this before, so. All right, so. I'm supposed to take a sharp knife and take the crimping off. While it's still frozen. <laughs> oh, I gotta um heat the oven. Four twenty five. So we'll get that, set that to 425, get that preheated, we're just going to take this crimping off. I don't even know why I bought this pie crust, <laughs> maybe I just had an idea at the time, but it's been sitting. So we're going to get it out of the freezer. Then we're going to flip this over. That's quite full. Thinking maybe I could add a little more. I don't know. <laughs> so now we're going to let it thaw. 20 minutes and then we're going to crimp the edges together and cut some slits on the top here. So I'll bring you back. Alright, so I went outside to check on the garden and <laughs> all my cherry tomatoes are rotting and there's little flies everywhere so I started taking they're all splitting I think we got what we can out of everything um, for the cherry tomatoes and uh, I started snipping them back and filling up the cart to go dump them but it started to rain of course. So, and I forgot I had the oven preheating in this line. So, we're going to get this in and get this baking. All right, so the pie is done. I'm going to take it out set it on here and shut this oven off. Perfect timing too because Sierra's getting ready to go for her le uh, observing lesson and the pie is done. So I took out a box of angel hair pasta with herbs that Sierra wanted and some of the savory herb with garlic from 2019 so I'm gonna check this because I have a bunch of potatoes that I pulled out of the garden which I will show you in just a moment so the other day my son brought us to this place that um, had boiled potatoes so I really liked them. So I knew I had tons at home that I have to use up. And uh, perfect size. So I'm going to pull some from this box. And um, 
we're going to do some boiled potatoes tonight. I've never done them, so we shall see how it goes. I think this will be enough. I have to get something done with these potatoes. <laughs> right now I'm watching a video from Whippoorwill Hollow where she is doing up different ways of putting up her potatoes. So I'm going to take these, we're going to wash them, and we're going to prep them for boiled potatoes. All right, so I'm going to run some cold water. Put these in there. Scrub them down, and we are going to get them put aside for I had a scrub brush, I don't know where it went, but my fingers will do just right. Fine. I am going to peel these. Because um, the ones at this place were peeled, and I think the um, seasoning will stick to them much better on peeled potatoes. So once these are all cleaned up, oh, these are looking good. I will bring you back, and we will get to the next step. All right. So these two had some rot spots on them and I just didn't want to take any chances. So we're just going to peel these. I have the cold water running. We're going to fill this bowl up. with cold water. And we're going to get these potatoes soaking. I just went and grabbed uh, three more potatoes for the two that I took out. But these are looking beautiful. Just drop Sierra off. I have an hour and then I have to drop Todd off for his weeding. And then pick Sierra up at 11. Hot up at 12. <laughs> and this is how my summer's been. But hopefully, it will be my last summer doing that. The Sierra should be driving. Todd has been going out driving with Chris every night, about an hour. So he's finally comfortable. So I'm hoping he will get his license too. And uh, driving them around will be done. I did go out and uh, cut down some tomato plants. Um, and I just finished watching, uh, actually I'm still watching a video from Whip the Will Holler. <coughs> on uh, pizza. But I need to find a pizza sauce because I have a lot of tomatoes in the freezer that I need to. I still have more on the porch that I picked yesterday that I have to cut down and freeze. But I'm running out of freezer space, guys. And I have onions. I just watched Miss Lori from With the Will Holler. She diced up her onions and froze them, which I did with all my green peppers. I have a couple more on the um, pepper plants, but I think <laughs> gotta, I gotta wait until we do the birthday party for the twins and uh, Brockton on the 18th, because I'll be taking a lot of things out of the freezer for that, and then I'll have more room. 
I could turn the other little freezer on, but I'm not going to do that. I should, honestly. Fill that up. Get cold, cold water. And Jack is running around. What are you running around for, Jack? Nothing outside. So I'm going to finish peeling these and I'll be back. All right, so it is now 4 o'clock and I'm going to be honest, I did not want to cook. I was putting it off thinking I would just order something out. But I had been outside all day and cleaning up the garden and freezing tomatoes and washing tomatoes and I just pulled this gar uh, onion off of my onion stash. It's the first one I'm using. And, uh, I was going to order out, but I'm like, you know what? That's not what I want to do. So I got off the couch after taking a little break, took a shower, and laid down for a little bit. But, get up, Lee. Get up. Get up. So the um, meatloaf calls for, whoops, let me wash this off. It calls for a small onion. So I grabbed a small onion. I'm going to cut it. Now, I'm making two um, packages. And the normal recipe that I follow is one and a half pounds. Well, this, each package here is one pound, so it's going to be an extra half a pound. But that's okay. I'm just going to cut these really, really small. I really wanted someone else to do the cooking tonight, like takeout. But, because I had to clean the counters wash all the tomatoes, and then slice the big ones, put them in a freezer bag. But I already had these potatoes from earlier that I prepped. So I'm like, you know what? Can't be lazy. As much as I don't want to, and I've been up since 5 o'clock, we're going to do what we originally planned. The meatloaf takes an hour and a half, so I need to get it in there, otherwise we're going to be eating real late. thinking, oh, this can sit in the fridge till tomorrow, and I can, I don't have to go anywhere, I don't have to drive the kids anywhere, I don't have to do anything, um, but, I'm like, you know what, Lee, we're trying to save money, and I won't do that if I'm constantly eating out when I don't feel like cooking, so, we are doing it up. Onion from the garden, two packages of the meat from the freezer, potatoes from the garden, breadcrumbs that I had made from leftover bread and I need to use it up. So, we are doing it. I'm just going to chop this up fine, fine. So, I am going to get the meat into this is the Catelli um, meatball. It's made with beef, pork, and veal, and it's 
I usually use a different kind that I vac seal, but they had these one pound packages. Ooh, my eyes are watering. Oh, that's gonna help clear out my head. So, get this in here. And usually the recipe is right on the other package. They're in styrofoam, um, you know, where you can see the meat through it. But they had these one pound packages, so I'm like, all right, let me get them. They were on sale. So, because the other packages are usually one and a half pounds, and that's what the recipe calls for. But these fit in the freezer, and I didn't even have to take and back sale them myself. So, all right. So, I've made this before um, in other videos, my meatloaf. This is my favorite way. So, I'm going to get this in there. Okay. A Lipton soup packet. The last time I made this, I just dumped it in, didn't look, and it was Lipton noodle soup. I had to throw it away. Couldn't get all the noodles out. Two eggs, two-thirds cup of milk, which is my Dollar Tree milk, because we don't drink milk. So, um, I hate wasting milk. So, and normally, you know, when I'm really paying attention, I don't make it with the, you know, I make it keto, but I'm too tired to around a small onion tablespoon of parm shaped cheese and then three quarters of a cup of the breadcrumbs and since I have extra meat I'm just going to use a whole cup. And this is all buns, leftover hamburg and hot dog buns from past cookouts that I just dried up and ground up. So there we have it. So I'm going to get some gloves on and I'll be right back. Alright, so. I have my casserole dish and my non-stick tin foil. Now, I originally wanted to make mini ones in, you know, like a tin or something, but I just, don't, just want to get this over with and go back and lay down. So, this is non-stick. We're going to get over here. Now this, you don't need to do too much mixing because you don't want to over mix your meat. Just get it combined. And then I have some leftover sugar free um, G. Hughes barbecue sauce. So I'm going to use that. Maybe I'll grab another onion and, I don't know. Get it all mixed in there. Okay. I'm going to try to form a loaf. Try to form it before I get it in there. At least a little bit. And it was raining. I'm glad we did what we did earlier because it started raining. Alright. 
So I'm going to just form this into a loaf, a meatball, I mean a meatloaf. Simple, easy dinner tonight. I don't know why I was thinking ordering out. Once I got off my butt. All right, so I'm going to get this in a 350 degree preheated oven. It's going to take about an hour and a half. And uh, then I'll wash up these dishes and I'll be back. Okay, so I am not going to make this. This is going to be for another meal another time. I got some peas out because I was in the mood for peas. So I'm going to open the peas, get them into a pan. And get those on the stove. And then we're going to start. The potatoes only need about 20 minutes. So, um... We'll do that because the, the meatloaf still has to cook for an hour and ten minutes or so. So um, I'm going to do two cans because then I can have some but tomorrow night's dinner too. And um, it's, it's nice and cool, no air conditioning. I lucked out and got these cans of Lasur for 75 cents on clearance at Walmart. They were a dollar twenty-five. It says. So I snagged all of them because that's my favorite pea. So I'm gonna get the potatoes in a pan and I will be right back. So I added salt to the potatoes. And I just covered the potatoes with water, and that is it. I didn't go any higher than that, just until they were covered. All right, so it says here, two tablespoons unsalted butter melted. I am using salted, so I'm going to omit the other salt that it's caused to add. So we're going to just... I'm going to do... It's two. But I didn't measure my potatoes. It said one and a half pounds. So I'm going to go with, um, it's probably more than one and a half pounds there. So I'm going to go with four tablespoons. I can always use the butter for something else if I, if I don't need it all. But I'm going to put it in here and get it ready to be melted. says um, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil as well but I'm gonna melt this first and we'll be back okay so I've had these in my cabinet and they expire it says July 8th 2023 <laughs> but they still smell fine Savory garlic, savory herb with garlic. So I'm going to just start with one packet and um, when I'm ready to use that, we'll be back. All right, so it's about 36 minutes, give or take. So I pulled it out <coughs> and I'm going to cover it. So, I'm going to wait a minute because it's oozing and it's just going to make the sauce drip right down. I did turn the potatoes on and I put the peas on low. So 
So I'm going to just let that sit for a minute. And um, then I'll add a little more. Okay, so I had the water boiling. And I didn't read the directions because it said to just turn it down to a simmer. <coughs> so I turned it down and I'm adding ha almost half of that pack of savory herb and garlic to the water while it's going to simmer. Put the peas and we'll be back. Okay, so I drained the potatoes. I melted the butter and olive oil. I think I might have left the potatoes in just a little too long. Now I'm going to try No, this is where you would season with salt, black pepper. So I just put a little bit of the seasoning in here. That's it. I'm not putting too much in case nobody likes that. And we're going to do <clears throat> some pepper, some salt. You can omit the salt because you use I salt, salted butter. But we're going to plate up dinner. Alright, so there is the meatloaf. I'm going to let it sit for a minute. And then we're going to get a plate made up and have dinner. Alright, so I'm going to... pan's a little hot. plate over here. Oh, does that look good? Good, good. Chris will wipe half this out in one sitting. supposed to have too many carbs so I'm gonna do a little bit of potatoes and then I usually have green beans but I just was in the mood for some peas I love my lesser peas and I don't have them but a couple times a year so it is what it is people I'm going to try one of these potatoes because I've never boiled potatoes. The only time I boiled potatoes is when um, Firefly came over and we did those bag of potatoes, the salt potatoes that she gets out in New York. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Lots of flavor. Delish. I'm going to go eat. Right, Christopher's got his plate of yumminess <gasps> and his chocolate fair life milk. Oh yeah. He loves meatloaf. Yes, I do. You like it? That's why she's that's why Lee always says leave some left leave some for everybody else. Oh he'd eat that whole thing if I let him. <laughs> <laughs> and that was two pounds of meat. <laughs> <laughs> is it good though? Hmm? Is it good? Oh yeah. And that that's the sugar-free um, barbecue sauce too. Yep. What brand was that? Stubbs? No, G G G Hughes. Oh, I warmed up the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know how you like potatoes. Oh yeah. 
That was the first thing I bit into. I never made boiled potatoes. I make them, you know, roasted in the oven or mashed, but I never do that. So I'm, ever since we went to that restaurant, I wanted to try it. They're good. Yeah. At least with these ones, you're not weirded out looking at them like the other ones when we're at that restaurant. Because I'd never had them before. I've never seen them like that. Except for when Firefly came and she brought the bag of salt potatoes. That was it. Yep. But these are our own homegrown taters. Right out of the garden. An old packet of seasoning that probably should have been tossed. <laughs> All right, I'm going to eat now.